Hello, in this video I'm going to be taking a look at another plugin from Sonable. This one's called Smart Comp. Similar to their other plugins, it uses a profile based system to use as machine learning to choose the best settings based on the input that you feed into it. So I've got a part of a blues track here that I've just been messing around with. And I will load up the plugin here and I will just apply it to the various tracks in this project and see how it sounds, show you how it works. So I think this one is a guitar track at the minute. Just some open G blues. So if I select guitar here and hit the record icon which starts the learning process so straight off the bat it's just doing a bit of gentle gain reduction there Very transparent. If you click on this little arrow here, it opens up the shape and the focus. Focus I find really cool because it allows you to set the listen and then drag it to where you want it to actually focus the compressor on. Same deal with the other guitar on the other side. Again, open up the focus. So yeah, I find that a really good feature just for pulling out the part of the sound that you want to pull out, bring it forward. This by default, I think is set to auto, but you can disable that and adjust the output or the input or the dry wet. on the bass guitar here. So it's actually brought the output down a bit. We'll go back to the focus. Just want to bring some presence into the vase. Bit more bite. Question. We 
I'll just use the drums preset for that one. Drum overheads. Kick drum. See how it only analyzes whenever there's input going into it. on the snare. Again, you see it's only analyzing when there's actually noise. Again, I'll use the focus just to hone in on the area that I want to compress. Also got a guitar solo that I'll try it on.
take the bus compression off and replace that with smart comp as well. See how it works on the bus. This is on the main mix bus. I'll just use standard. threshold was a little bit aggressive there. So what I'll do is I'll bring up tonal balance. So you can see there for rock music the tonal balance is actually spot on. But what I can do is just maybe focus it just slightly in this mid-range, low-mid region. So we'll just focus it on that region. Yeah, so it seems to be working good on the mix bus as well, just a bit of gentle compression on the lows and the low mids. One thing that is worth considering here is that it's not zero latency, so you'll be able to see here that Smart Comp is actually putting in 42.7 or 2048 samples of latency. So it's not going to be any good for you for tracking through. Myself and a couple other people in the Gearspace thread have asked them if they might be able to make like a, a zero latency version of it or a low latency version of it, which would maybe disable some of the more intensive features like the spectral compression but yeah overall i mean as a mixing tool it's really really good i have other compressors that i'm using on these tracks so i'm using fg dynamics on all of them i think which is doing some pretty moderate compression as well and then i've got the p42 climax which is I'm still using and is still great. Using that just for saturation, low pass filter, high pass filters, high shelf, low shelf. Just the drive is a form of saturation in it as well as the saturation knob itself. And then B 
basically you can gain competency by just hitting the little blue arrow here. But yeah, this one's definitely worth keeping an eye on. It's become a go-to since I started using it and I haven't really stopped using it. So definitely would recommend checking it out for sure. They have a really generous trial period. So yeah, hopefully this video has given you some good insight into the smart comp. And I'll be back with some other videos soon. Cheers.